Hello Aries and happy birthday. I apologize for posting this so late. However, I was in an accident and broke my arm. So I was unable to shuffle the cards or do any tarot readings for a little while. But I'm back up and running and so, so happy to finally be doing this uh, video for you. I've been looking forward to it for a couple of months now. Um, just real quick, I wanted to uh, let you know that if you wanted a personalized private reading, I would love to do that for you. And I do phone readings, uh, live video, and audio. You just follow the links below depending on what kind of reading you want and um, we'll go ahead from there and book it that way. With that being said, I did want to quickly tell you that I bought some cards especially for your reading uh, this time and it's a tribute to one of my favorite uh, astrologers, uh, Linda Goodman and she was an Aries. She was quite popular in the 60s and 70s and um, I've had this book a million times over because every time I loan it out, it doesn't come back <laughs> because it's that cool of a book. People misplaced it, um, but whatever, I keep rebuying it, I don't care. Um, it's called Linda Goodman's uh, Love Signs, and what she did that I, I found just so cute um, throughout the book is she took uh, quotes from uh, the story Alice in Wonderland and at the beginning of every chapter um, where there's a, a sign compatibility she uses a quote about how it describes their compatibility and um, she matches it with a, a quote from Alice in Wonderland and it was just so cute and so intriguing um, I just love this book so if you don't have it please pick it up it is worth having don't loan it out you won't get it back. Um, so to uh, pay tribute to her, I bought Alice in Wonderland tarot cards. So we're going to use that for your reading. And as a cherry on top, I got Alice in Wonderland playing cards um, that have quotes. So we'll see what message um, that Alice in Wonderland has for you. So that'll be good fun at the end. All right. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start the reading and once again this is running from uh, March 21st of 2018 through April 20th of 2019. So let's see what's in the cards for you. Now please do keep in mind if it doesn't, this is a general reading, um, so if it doesn't resonate with you you might want to look at your moon sign or your rising sign um, readings as well um, because sometimes you know different because of the way the planets are sometimes one thing will resonate differently for somebody than others um, but I, I hope something resonates or at least you get some type of a message that you can take home with you and, and you know use and it helps you in some way all right, so let's see what is going on here. This is Aries, March 2018 through April Okay, well, that's a good start. Okay, so let's see here. All right, so the very first three cards, which are my base cards, um, are pretty much going to tell me how this is this year is going to run um, as far as um, theme wise. So the very first card I pulled was Justice. Now, the Justice card is a couple things. It's um, Libra is the astrological sign that's attached to this card. But for more often than not, it, it truly is Justice. It's, um, it could be a legal situation that is getting ready to happen, or this is the theme of the year. Um, if you're, you know, even signing contracts, um, anything legal. Uh, court wise or even judgment wise um, 
balance. So those are the overall meanings of uh, the Justice card. Now, next to my Knight of Swords is what I am seeing as news coming in. Now, the Knight of Swords straight up is um, definite fast movement, um, news you've been wanting to hear possibly, or it could be bad news, but it's swift, it's quick, it's fast, it's over. Um, reversed, it is delayed, or it is news that you didn't necessarily want to hear, right? Um, maybe it came too fast. So next to that I have my um, Two of Cups card and it's reversed. So straight up this is clearly my partnership card, right? Commitment partnership card. Twos are partnerships anyway. So um, this is reversed. Now if I put these three things together it appears um, that there is some type of a, a legal theme for this year for a partnership. Now this could be, a, and our clarifying cards are going to tell us a lot, this could be a, a business partnership um, because it's cups it does appear to be a love partnership. So if there's divorce looming, um, and it might not even be about you, it could be about somebody around that you care about um, but I do see where there is or it, it could even be going back for more child support money or going back for who know alimony who knows um, but that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing where there is some type of a legal um, issue that is going to be um, coming up this year or be resolved this year and we'll know more with our clarifying card but I feel it has more to do with family love um, more than business. So um, let's pull some clarifying cards from my witchy um, cards, witchy fortune telling cards, and um, see if we can get a little bit more clarification about what's going on here. All right, so um, what I got for with my Justice card is the Anchor. Now the Anchor is reversed, but um, this particular card, I read it the same reversed or straight up. It really doesn't matter. Um, but I see this as being the overall anchor of the theme of the year so justice <laughs> um, which which basically I'm feeling that there is some type of a legal issue um, coming up this is going to be the focus of the year um, even if this is bad though Aries I want you to understand that you know you have to get through it and move on and it's not forever <laughs> you know it's not forever um, but we'll see what is with my knight okay my knight of swords what I got is the railroad tracks um, now the railroad tracks straight up obviously is moving forward right so it's good um, reversed actually means that it is um, you're not moving forward you're you're moving back a little bit so um, putting these guys together what this appears so far is that with this legal situation it's going to take you back it's gonna hold you back or put you back a little bit um, could be financially could be just mentally emotionally whatever it's it's gonna take you back um, and we'll see 
Well, I'm going to do another layer. I could possibly even do a couple more if it's not all clear. But I'm going to do another layer with my uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland cards as well and get some more clarification on all of this. Um, the Two of Cups reversed. <sighs> it doesn't get much clearer than this. I got the um, Golden Ring. So the Golden Ring um, is marriage. Um, it could also be like the the golden ring could have been like the perfect partnership, the perfect deal, um, business deal as well. Um, financial deal is the golden ring. However, this is reversed. So the partnership that um, actually created this is um, having some, some issues, a breakup is happening. So... Um, putting all of these guys together now, which is never easy. Okay. Let's see if I gotcha. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's not easy. All right. So, um, putting all these guys together, if you've got my justice being the anchor, and then next to that, we've got um, some news that is um, putting you back. And then I have my partnership, which actually I feel is love, and the golden ring. Um, so, I mean, this is actually spelling out a, a legal separation, uh, a legal issue between um, either two ex, uh, an ex-husband, ex-wife, you know, taking you back to court, something like that. Um, let's see now what the... Um, Alice in Wonderland cards have for some clarification. Okay, so for more clarification on the Justice card, I, uh, I got the, well, this is, <laughs> this is Alice in Wonderland, so it's a little different. I got the Six of Oysters, which is actually, if you look at the diamond, it's the Six of Pentacles. Um, so, but I got it reversed. So straight up, it's when you have enough to give to charity. It's my charity card, or pro bono card sometimes if you know sometimes if we're talking about a legal matter um, how or anything that you do as a service it's, however this is reversed so um, if we put these three together what you bait well that's my anchor but what you're basically seeing is because of this legal matter um, there is some out money that is outgoing. Perhaps you need to pay the attorney or uh, you're taken back to court for more money so that extra money that you had to spend um, is no longer. So you, you have to readjust your budget. Um, then with my Knight of Swords and Train Track, I got the Ten of Oysters reversed, which remember oysters in, in Alice in Wonderland tarot um, language is pentacles. And pentacles do represent your financial well-being. Now the Ten of Pentacles or Oysters um, straight up is a beautiful card. It is um, abundance, sometimes it's old money, it's um, you know, happy family. It's it's when you've hit it, you you've you've made a a lot of money, and uh, you're you're financially stable. You you've hit it. You finally hit your point. Um, however, it's reversed. So um, it's telling me that you know if there was old family money, or if this was about family money, and it could you know this legal thing could even be about family money. Uh, where you've got to go to court because of 
a will or whatever and you don't get as much money as you thought so that actually makes a ton of sense too with this because we have the knight of uh, swords reversed you know he's bringing us um, news we didn't necessarily want to hear it's stifling us we're not able to go the road that we thought we were going to be able to go move forward um, and we're, we're not having as much money as we thought we should or money is being taken from us due to a legal issue. Um, with that, let's go to my two of cups reverse. Okay, <coughs> there is a bright side. I know this is like not a good reading as far as being up, but there is a bright side. Um, so I got the nine of <laughs> this. <laughs> um, this is the. Uh, nine of actually swords reversed um, however it's the nine of flamingos in <laughs> the Alice in Wonderland this one always cracks me up um, in the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck now nine of swords straight up if you look at him he's worried right he's under a tremendous amount of stress um, now reversed it basically is saying that um, it's a couple things you're either able to handle the stress or it's a relief um, once this is done it is a huge relief so if this is some type of a legal issue that has to do with um, marriage um, ex <laughs> ex marriages or even um, to do with your um, family like if you're being taken to court by your family over uh, old family money a will whatever um, the worry is not as bad as you're making it so um, what this is telling me is don't worry too much about this this too shall pass it's it's not as big of a worry as you as you're making it out to be um, don't argue you know uh, keep your cool and and things will actually things actually are not as bad as they seem they're not they're not as bad as they seem um, so in reality that that is a good thing everything happens for a reason clearly right um, but uh, unfortunately we've got to hit those um, towers you know the destruction sometimes in order to move forward so what I want to do is I want to do some more, um, at least one more layer of clarification um, cards. And then I'm going to do the Alice, um, the special Alice playing card message and see what it has to say about um, how you're going to overall feel um, at the end of the year once, once this is over and let's see let's use clarification i think i'm gonna uh, we're gonna use the witchy tarot i think and uh you know overall it it appears that you are going to have a, a little bit of a financial loss um, throughout whatever this legal battle is that you're going to be fighting. Um, I do want to say that if it is about business or a contract um, that you are legally bound to, you might want to pay attention to the fine print and um, make sure that you're not losing money um, through it. Um, okay, all right, let's see here. All right, okay this is um, clearly about a marriage <laughs> all right so this is about and it, well family at least uh, what I got uh, for the justice is the tower reversed which is actually good 
um, straight up it's it's destruction but because it's reversed um, the way the cards are laid out all the clouds are moving this way so when I have these cards laying down um, basically these clouds are moving away they're moving away from the future so it clearly means that the destruction is not as big as you think it is it really isn't um, it's a disruption definitely a disruption but it's it's not as bad as you think it is so don't be so hard um, on yourself when you're going through it or you know worry too much because it's really not as bad as you think it is now I did pull the bride um, reversed so this is by the night okay now the night just to clarify the night of um, swords is uh, swords in general are uh, air signs so this could represent an air sign as well um, so it could be the air sign that either that um, sends you know sends the subpoena or he's the one involved in it or um, it could have something to do with an air sign as well so keep that in mind um, so what I got here is the bride so this tells me um, this could be a prenup gone bad this could be um, fighting for back child support this could be a divorce so um, it definitely has something to do with a uh, marital commitment or some type of a family commitment that uh, this is centering around all right and the good news is I got the uh, star success card now it is um, reversed but this card is positive no matter how I shake it up so the beauty of this is exactly what I said um, this is pretty much clarifying that it's about a marriage uh, this is saying that it's not um, as worrisome as you're making it um, don't over worry yourself don't lose sleep over this because it's not going the outcome is not as bad as you think as you feel it's going to be um, or you can handle whatever the outcome is you know it, it's not devastating as devastating as you feel it's going to be so you are semi successful in whatever this legal situation is um, so don't despair and I, I feel that once it's over it's going to be just a one big relief for you and you're finally going to be able to move on <laughs> move the railroad tracks forward um, I feel like this whole legal situation is going to hold you back a little bit but that's okay um, let's see what Alice in Wonderland message has for you and see how she wants to send you off this is how you are okay this is how um, you are overall gonna feel about the full year which is interesting it's really cute this is <laughs> and take it for what you will you can look at I love looking up um, where these were where these sayings were in the story just to kind of get a little bit more insight into you know help as far as the message but the, I love this one this is Alice knocking on the door and um, you know she's the queen and it says I'm not a visitor and I'm not a servant so I believe the overall message here is uh, you're it's okay you're you're going to um, still have your your crown your crown is not going away you're still gonna have control you're still in charge um, you're still gonna make your own rules because I know you're Aries you have gotta make your own rules um, it's just you're you're gonna go through this legal situation if this resonates with you but there's a legal situation you're gonna go through it but you're gonna come out just fine you're you're still you're still gonna come out on top alright so um, you're still gonna take ownership of your world it's gonna be okay 
So that is your reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. And please follow me on um, YouTube and also Facebook. And I hope to uh, do a personalized reading for you soon. Uh, as I said, look up your um, moon and rising signs. I'm just now catching up for the year. So just kind of keep following up. I will be catching up on if your moon or rising sign is Taurus. I'll be catching up on Taurus this week. And Gemini is the goal. That's the ultimate goal. So thank you so much for watching me. And I hope you have a great year. And always sending loving energy your way and loving angels. Thank you so much. And I want you to have a fabulous year.